Hello paper crafters. In this video I have for you some new geo die items. Um, I have the geo backers and the mini um, geo dies which many of you have been emailing me about asking when I would have these in. This is the geo backer for dies, geo dies 3, 7, and 8. And the die has this plastic middle. I, I don't know if that's for when you're cutting you can kind of find where it goes and this seems to be some kind of a shim to give a crisper cut. So with this die you cut out this right here. You kind of cut that guy out and when you cut him out he's now mobile. You don't have to have this color for the geo die number three. You can add it right there makes that image pop and now this is mobile. You can pick it up and put it on a page. Um, you don't have to have this color backing to do it because this the backer cuts it out. Now if we do die geo die number seven, we cut it out, I cut it out in this color, and you add one cut, and you can see how nicely that backs it, just the perfect length and how, does a really good job with it. And then you take this one and you add right there and again, just see how it makes it pop and it's so much easier um, than having to be tied down to putting that as your background paper. And you can see up close how that looks. And then with um, Geo Dye 8, I have this brown one. And when you run it, Geo Dye is 8 is um, twice. I'm sorry, I've got to flip it over for the orange. When you run it through the orange once, you get that and then you run it through twice with the eight and you get that. And again, these backers are just nice because now you have the backing. And then the next backer we have is Geo Backer 4, 5. And it's for the Geo dies number four and five. And you can see here's a Geo die four. And then you add the backer and that just makes it pop and it's perfect, the perfect size. And then you have Geo Die 5, which is the two pattern die. And when you run it through once, you get that. And again, it backs it beautifully. And then when you run it through twice, you get this. And it just backs it perfectly. So those are the backers. There's two. Now what I did is I thought what if I used the other dies? What would I get? What would happen? So I took Geo Die 6 and I put it with the backer and you get kind of that flower pattern. I thought that was cool. And I took Geo Die 11 with the star serrated one, put that there. There's a lot you can do. It doesn't always just limit it to what they say you have to do with it. Now let's get on because we have um, more dies to show you and I want to get through these. This is Geo Die Minis. These are little dies and they come with the die and they're in the patterns we're already used to but they're much smaller. They're about oh two inches I'd say across and then they come with the backer. So this is set number four and what you get with this set is here's the backer comes with it and that plastics there and here's the die, which was what were similar, but it's on such a smaller scale. And um, when you cut this, and just to give you an idea, here's that for the scale. Here's the original geo die, and here's the small one, so you can kind of get the um, how that works. And what that makes is you take the backer, put it down, and then you add the little mini cutout there looks like a sunflower. Perfect. And again, to compare them in size, you can see they are minis. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. I've got three more to show you. The next one is mini geo die number three. And here's the set. And with mini geo die number three, the two dies look like this. You have the the backer and then you have the die. And then with this one you can make cut out the backer and then you add your 
mini geodye. And you can just see how nicely that works. Now the next one is mini geo die number eight. And you can read here, it's a two pattern die, meaning you can move, here's when you cut it singly. If you rotate it one notch over, you get this pattern. And I did do both of them up for you. Let me show you the dies. And if you don't remember about rotating the notches, go back to earlier videos, I show how to do this. But here's the die, and here is the backer. And then, you take the set right here, and I have some to show you. Here's just one pass, and that's the die with the backer. And then here's two passes and you get those kind of different patterns. And then what I did is I did one up for contrast because I thought the pattern took a little bit away from that and you couldn't see the contrast is good and I think you can see it better with that one. So beautiful. And then the next and last one is geodye kit number five. And it's again a two pattern die and you get these two dies with it. And again, they're smaller versions of the original Geo dies. And what you get with this one is with the one when you pass the die through once, you get that. And it, that'd be a pretty little, put some stems there and have some kind of flowers or even snowflake looking ones. And then here it is when you run it through twice. That's the backing. And there is the die where you kind of just get that beautiful, intricate little look. So again, these are small. They're brand new. Um, people have been calling in wanting these, so I suspect that they will move quickly. So if you um, have any questions, please email me at dutchpapercrafts at gmail.com. And please visit my blog for pricing and further information on the dies. Um, if you have any questions um, on any things I might have in, please email me. I do have lots of items in stock that I haven't had a chance yet to make up videos and I'm behind. So I do not mind emails asking me for people who want these for projects. Just email me and say, Darlene, do you have this one in? And I'll let you know. Um, a lot of people have started doing that because they're keeping um, abreast of what Holland is sending out and they're kind of ahead of me in some of the items I have to go find them. So thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.